Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Hebert chocolates. You could either say it at Hebert or Hebert. What would you say? Probably Hebert. Uh, I don't know. Hebert. I'll say Hebert chocolates. It's someone's name, so it could be pronounced any way you it's want. It's H E B E R T, <laughs> yeah. so I don't know how uh, they where they put the emphasis, but I would say Hebert chocolates. We had never seen uh, this brand before. We found this three pack at Tuesday morning. It was five ninety nine for three flavors. You get a milk chocolate, a dark chocolate, and a white chocolate. And um, I thought about not getting them, and then I told Kevin, I said, "Yeah, let's go ahead and get them because." Uh, that's a brand we, we literally have not heard of. Um, so, uh, All right, so, what's your chocolate personality? <laughs> yes, if if dark chocolate is your favorite, you are an adventurous problem solver. So we'll have to read each one of these. Um, an adventurous problem solver. Um, these are made in Shrewsbury, Massachusetts, and it's www.hebertcandies.com. Nestled under the maple trees in Massachusetts, you'll find the same Tudor-style mansion that Frederick Hebert purchased uh, back in 1946 and where we continue to craft our chocolates with our signature recipe. That's, it's what gives each morsel its richness and distinction. Okay, let's see. I don't think I can slot it out. I think it's glued, yeah. You know what? What? I'm not going to fight it at all. Yep, but it is. Like there we go. That's why I couldn't get it off. Okay. So, oh, it smells good. Yeah, you can really smell that. Uh, one bar is 450 calories, that's but it's big. That's an interesting mold pattern. It is. It's got oh, big, like, yeah. flat spots in between where it's really easy to break a square off. This it one. is uh, 85 grams is how big it is. It's a big bar for 450 calories. It doesn't look like, it's not like, um, it's not snappy um, like a tr traditional dark chocolate is. Mm -hmm. It's more soft like a milk chocolate, isn't it? Are you losing your voice? <clears throat> Sounds like it doesn't. <laughs> well. It's a very soft dark chocolate. What's funny is. It doesn't taste like dark chocolate. What's funny is it says dark, but. The ingredients say milk chocolate. <laughs> and I swear to you, that's the ingredients. It says milk chocolate, and then it gives the ingredients in the milk chocolate, which is sugar, cocoa butter, chocolate, liqueur, milk. I wonder what that one says. I don't know. But this says milk chocolate. Um, it says the exact same thing. And that one does say dark chocolate on the bottom, doesn't it? Yes, it does. No, what? Oh my gosh. These are all milk. They're all the same freaking candy bar. Oh my gosh. I've been had. Mm hmm. I would have never, I would have never. That is such, that is a scam. I think so. I mean, I really. It's definitely misleading. It's misleading. It is buyer beware. Oh my Why gosh. Why would you say, what's your chocolate personality? Dark white or milk and then give you three the only reason we know that is at the very bottom it it's a very very, bottom. The very I, bottom i never noticed that before it says milk chocolate bar this one is milk chocolate too hmm. oh um, i feel like i've been had i feel like shame on this company mm -hmm. because that is totally misleading so it says if your personality is dark uh, your adventurous problem solver. If milk chocolate is your favorite, you are loyal, generous, and considerate. If white chocolate is your favorite, you are a perfectionist, motivated, and kind. You're, they, we were looking forward to it. some dark white chocolate. And they knew. They knew exactly <coughs> what they were doing. That that's totally misleading. Mm -hmm. It's very misleading. And yes, that really just ticks me off. I hate well, getting taken like that. Well, I do have to say is the chocolate's not bad. It's not fantastic, but it, it's there's, not bad. No, there's no, nothing it's a, wrong with it. It's a good chocolate. It. it has a nice creamy texture to it. It's, well, it's good. We did know. You said that does not taste like dark chocolate. No, it didn't break like dark chocolate. No, it wasn't like that. It, it's creamier than dark chocolate. But it's, um, I do have to say that for a milk chocolate, it's not the creamiest mm -hmm. or the sweetest milk chocolate that no. we've had. 
but there's nothing wrong with it at no, all. It's, a, it's, it's not it's a bad nice. game. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Just, it's just their misleading product packaging. Yeah. Why would why would somebody want to spend six dollars on the same chocolate bar? I I don't do that. They do that at Home Goods all the time, but Home Goods isn't trying to scam you. Um, they'll they'll like at Christmas time and stuff. They'll get these these packages of, of chocolate bars, and you buy a big pop package of them and they're like to put in stockings so like if these these would make good stocking stuffers if you want to give everybody the same kind i don't buy them though because i want different for the reviews so for me uh this <laughs> oh well <laughs> you got to hear about their dark chocolate right and you'll have to let us know if you're in the massachusetts area how big is this company how you know because we've never heard of it before mm. never seen it um like on any shelves at all, I've never even seen this at Home Goods. Mm -hmm. Only Tuesday morning. Yeah, yeah, it could be why Tuesday morning had them. Maybe they people didn't buy them because or bought them and got mad or something. I don't, like. I don't know. Maybe they took them yeah. off the shelves because they were kind of missing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I have a no idea. Uh, but yeah, I don't think this is the way to do business. It's, it's because that just ticks people off, and then you get a video about it. So. Yeah, and then you don't buy their product again. And then you don't buy it again. Because you're, you're annoyed you're about off, it. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.